What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. And today, we're gonna open this red package. What's in it? I don't know. I do know, but you don't know. So, stay tuned. You're gonna wanna check these out. These are pretty cool. Today is a great day. We got my new camera for fishing. I got my the return of my absolute liberties. The customer service of Pit Vipers had my back. And we get to unbox this red package. All right, guys. So as you know, we are getting more in-depth with the fishing. This is not something new to us. We've been fishing our whole lives. It's just last year, one, we didn't have a really good way to film it, to be completely honest. We lacked. We tried, and the video were eh. and you know how we are we don't want to put out bad content we want to give you the best quality we can no matter what we're doing so it just the quality wasn't there the time we i think we fish went fishing four times all last year we just had a lot of other things to do this year is not going to be the case actually i got a camera in there charging right now that's going to greatly increase fishing and waterfowl i'm getting hawk and moose one as well so we're going all out here. We're going to get it so we have multiple angles, the main rig, and just quality content all the way around. We're trying to get better in everything we do. Now, let's get to this. I did not know this, but this guy is not very far from my house. I wondered how it got here so quickly. This is Nate's Custom Baits. Uh, it's actually from Indiana, PA, which is not terribly far from here. So let's open this up. I'll show you what I got, why I got it, and how I plan to use it. Okay, so there's the damage. We'll leave that right there. Now, let's dump these all out. Oh man, these packages are cool. I see a sticker. Okay, sir, I gotta give it to you. That's one of the coolest stickers I've ever seen in my life. That's badass, and I apologize for swearing, but that is look at that you got the red white and blue especially because the force coming you got two largies just man that's america right there okay that is an awesome sticker now sticker aside let's get that over here definitely putting that on my truck and first off i gotta say one thing before i show you what i got the packaging is extremely impressive i really like how he did it because it keeps everything nice and neat let's just start with this one right here this one right here is the hybrid vibe omega this is a three quarter ounce in bleed and shad as you can see the coloring on this is just insane now each of these he these are hand tied with bucktail hair and a rubber skirt so you have the best of both worlds so the reason why he goes with the bucktail which he ties to the head of the of the jig and then overlays with the rubber skirt so it gets a multi-textured appearance. The bucktail gives a slight little flutter to the bait, just replicating the gills and the fins of a fish. And then when you add the rubber skirt, as you guys know, that gives you that flare. So you, you add those two together and you have a really realistic attention-grabbing bait. And this right here... I, like I said, I unboxed the Molex. I think this is going to slam them. This has got that bladed jig. It's going to get a little motion to it. Oh, man, I, I can't wait to fish these. That's the first one. This one right here is actually a limited edition color. This is Cicada. Now, this color looks extremely... I mean, this, this one is one of my favorites. I think it's the perfect combination I really think this is going to work well in ponds, lakes, everywhere I fish because it's got almost like a crawdad look to it. It's got that red bucktail in there. It's just got a really good color scheme. And this is also three-quarter ounce. So I got the hybrid vibes. I got both in three-quarter. And I'm going to pair these up with a trailer as well, which that will be in another video. I don't want to take too much time on this, but... I am extremely impressed in these right now. Okay, then these two, this is the only jig I got the same color for both. Meaning Moose and I are going to be both throwing these. Uh, I really like these. I like the weed guards on them. Like I said, the, these just, the packaging on them keeps everything right. It keeps everything nice. You can see that bucktail. 
you can see the the coloring this is actually super gill I got both of them in it these are three eighths I'll get all these out just and overlay them so you can see them at the end of the video but this I think with a Kai tech a either a 3.3 or a 3.8 skipping on rocks or in structure that is going to be lethal that's why I got two of these we're talking spinner baits and when I say spinner baits I mean big spinner baits these are the hybrid spinner bait plus I got it in the two colors I like to throw regarding spinners as you can see here they're big okay yes sir as you can see here which I don't think I ordered the shad I can't remember but I, I'm almost positive I did not order this so I'm thinking he threw this in here I know we'll be watching the video so drop a comment below man let me know uh, I don't remember buying a shad I don't see it on the list either so I'm assuming you threw this in and if that's the case big shout out all right so these are some big boys right here now these are really cool they got a lot of features as you can see I got it in shad and midnight gold which I really like this one I like the blades on it you can see that texture to it it's gonna really disrupt that water and that's gonna have a lot of glare also they got a little sneaky sneaky thing going on here let me get this one out real quick okay so you can see this bait you can see that black gold in there there's the bucktail and then the rubber skirt and then check this out let me zoom this in so the cool thing here is they got this hollow flash eye which actually has NCB on it which is Nate's custom baits and it's got a nice really cool texture to it I was kind of worried this is this might be a big profile but really it it does not look like it's gonna be a giant profile I have the perfect Kitek to pair with this and guys this bucktail with the rubber skirt that overlay just looks fantastic so this is something new I've I've always liked hand tied jigs, spinner baits, etc. Uh, as far as I know, and is what they say on this package, this is the home of the hybrid skirt or the bucktail with rubber skirt. So I'm assuming that's fairly unique to him. And I'm telling you right now, this guy does some good work as these are all individually hand tied. Okay, so I was saying earlier, I wasn't sure if I, I, bought, I purchased this. I just went to pull it out and there's a little note on there sneaky guy man sneaky I almost overlooked that my man thank you I we don't we don't usually do free but I really do appreciate it so both of these are gonna be used a lot now let's look at the last one the one I'm extremely excited about the hybrid skirt Ned rig now this is in baby bass this is the hybrid skirt Ned rig this is in baby bass this is quarter ounce it's got a really nice head to it and I really really like the colors they put into that I mean it, it's got a really nice green it looks like baby bass they put the white at, in the bucktail so you get that nice little flutter action and then the pop will be the bass colors in the rubber skirt and I really think we're gonna absolutely slam bass on these I, I guarantee it now lastly is this bad boy right here this is the hybrid skirt finesse jig this is a quarter ounce as well and this is in bold craw and I got this for when it's really hot like right now it's quite toasty and uh, the, the bites slow they want to see a small presentation they want something finesse you can see here this jig is definitely finesse now, see now this is last one. Let's I'll go back through and show them off. This is definitely a finesse setup and presentation. Man, that bucktail pops. That's insane. That this this is really something. So you got you got a nice head on there. That's going to be able you're going to be able to roll on it. It's almost like a shaky head. So you could you could get it set right on the bottom like that. And then you can see that bucktail is going to have the main motion. And then you have that nice reflective rubber skirt with beautiful colors. This, this, is, this is quite something right here.
this is going to catch bass for sure. But that's the finesse bait. Now let's get one of the Ned rigs out. I want to make sure I keep these all exactly how he's got them because I don't, I mean, like I said, the quality here is, these are quality baits for sure. Okay, so now, whoops. Now we got the Ned rigs. Oh, man. Oh, that is sweet. Okay, so there's the Ned rig. Guys, this one is gorgeous. You got green and white bucktail. See, there's the green. And then on top of that, like I said, you have the baby bass. And you can see it's got like a reflective profile to it. Oh, that is beautiful. So some of the skirt actually stays back on the bucktail. The other pops. So every time you pop that, it's going to pop. I mean, you're going to have good movement out of this rubber skirt. You got a really good jig head on there. Oh, man. This is going to smoke them. It's, a, it's kind of a bigger profile for a Ned rig, but I think it's different. So I think it's going to definitely catch them. That, that might be my favorite right there. That, that one is beautiful. Now, we already looked at the Midnight Gold, so we're not going to get the Shad out. Now we'll get into the Hybrid Vibes. Okay, so here's one of the hybrid vibes. We'll just get one of them out for the sake of the video. You guys are going to see them when I'm fishing with them. But, oh man. This is Cicada. As you can see, you got a really nice brown, gold, black rubber skirt. And then the coloring in the... Oh man, that is something. You got red on one side. Then if you rotate it, you got an orange plus like a normal bucktail. And then there's the front bladed jig, which you can see here. You would tie on right here and then let her do her thing. And I think with a Kai Tech, this right here is going to absolutely slam them. I really think this in my river is going to just slam pike and muskie too. I mean, you got an ultra sharp hook on there. I like how it's hidden. I mean, for a bigger hook, it hides really well. And then you have all that action with the skirt. I mean, these are, these are top notch. These are well done. Well done. <laughs> Last but not least is the 3.8 swim jig. Now, this is the one that actually got my attention. It was in a football jig, and I seen it on Facebook. I commented on it, and he told me to test them out. So, I did. I, I ordered what I would fish with, and this one got me. Okay, so, but I got it in a swim jig. Let me get this up here. So you can see you got varying colors of green in your bucktail. Then on top of that, your rubber skirt, you have a nice brown with some green, some purple, some pink fleck in there. So you got some pop. Now what got me is this side. You can see this almost fire tiger rubber skirt. Now I seen the video. He he was working this underwater, and that just almost glue. It was almost like it was UV treated. I don't know if it is. I'm sure he'll comment below. He does have a YouTube. But this is the one, this color is what sold me on this, and now I have all of these. Like I said, guys, I, I really like fishing jigs, Texas rig. I like soft plastics, anything like that. So this is right down my alley. These are some of the best jigs I've seen. I mean, these are all hand tied one at a time. You got quality, quality jigs. They're worth a penny. And it, to see that he's not that far from home is pretty cool. Might have to swing out there and see if we can link up with him on a video or something. To see him not be that far away is even cooler. I mean, these are quality baits. You'll be seeing us fishing with them soon. I cannot wait. I'm off next week, so I'm, I'm going to be fishing with these. We're going to be testing out the new camera. For fishing, we're going to be throwing these. Oh, man. I I don't know which one's my favorite. I mean, these Ned rigs, this is actually just pure art. These are pure art. I mean, every one of these jigs, realistically. The Super Gill, the, the Cicada, all of them. Now, if you're interested in checking out Nate's custom baits, I'll put all this down in the description below. His Facebook, his Facebook group, Instagram, Twitter, and he does have a YouTube as well with underwater demos of these jigs. I haven't checked out any of it, so I'm going to for sure. 
and uh, I can't wait to get fishing with these guys. These blew me out of the water. I should have known when I seen the sticker that this was going to be a good deal right here. I should have known. But guys, blown away by the quality here. Can't wait to get them out there. Drop a comment below. Let me know if you fish with Nate's custom baits or what kind of jigs, hand tie jigs, or etc. Any sort of jig. Let me know what you guys rock in your setups, what you catch bass with, how you throw them, all that good stuff. Drop your comments below. As of right now, at the time of this video, we're at 7,200 subscribers. We're making a push. We want 10K by October 1st. That's the game plan. So share these videos with your friends. Let's grow that BCO community. Let's get to 10K. In order for that to occur, you got to hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you do not miss out on any of our uploads Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We do all things outdoors. We got more fishing this year. We got broadhead tests, pattern tests, shot penetration tests, hunts, fishing. You name it out here, we do it. And we do it in a no BS, honest manner. We just let the performance talk and nothing else matters. But guys, I want to get these packed up. Get a game plan on, how, on the trailers of what I'm going to throw for each. And get everything straight. Nate's Custom Baits. As of the unboxing, top notch. Can't wait to get to fishing. As of all that matters, it can look pretty. But if they don't catch fish, it don't matter. So this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. And as always, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Take her easy.